Good evening, thank you for joining us. I'm Byron Pitts from ABC News Nightline. And I think what I would tell 20-year-old Byron the same thing my mother told me when I was 20. If you work hard and pray hard and treat people right, good things will happen. I believe that. I was born in not just Baltimore, but East Baltimore, and there's a distinction if you're from the city. I was born into a working class family, two parents. My dad was a meat cutter. My mom was a seamstress at a London Fog coat factory in Baltimore. My parents eventually divorced when I was 12. My mother, Clarice Pitts, she was my rock. All that I am, all that I'll ever be is because of Clarice Pitts and what she poured into me. My mother always believed there's nothing that prayer and hard work couldn't overcome. So for us, being in church was important. And religion just wasn't this thing in the sky concept. The religion was practical. You could feel it, you could touch it. I was functionally illiterate until I was 12 years old. Began to learn to read when I was 13. And I also had a stutter. I just thought I was stupid. That's what my classmates and some teachers said. And it was their diagnosis that I was mentally retarded, the word they used to tell my mom. And so their recommendation was just put him in a state hospital and see what happens. And my mother, God bless us now, that's not the destiny God has for my child. My mother didn't believe in adversity. She thought that stumbling blocks were stepping stones, opportunities. And so she pushed back, she fought back, she prayed. It is with my mother's mountain moving faith. I got the help I needed and here we are. Education fundamentally changed the trajectory of my life. From some people's perspective, I may have started with a deficit, but in each obstacle in my life, whether it's professional or personal, I am reminded to refocus and think less about what I don't have and more about what I do have. Because in America, if you apply yourself, if you work hard, if you're optimistic, you can be anything you want to be. I think the piece is about five minutes long. I love being a journalist. I think it's my job to comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. Uh, I think it's my job to shed light in dark places. And, and to give voice to the voiceless. They demand that they... Being a new member of the Horatio Alger Association is one of the greatest honors of my life. And it reinforces what my mama raised me to believe, that if you work hard and pray hard and treat people right, good things will happen. Being a member of this association has been a great thing to happen in my life.